I am feeling so called to make this video to say yes more. And the reason is, is because, well, I need to hear it. And I think you probably do too. If you're new here, I'm Sarah, and I help teach people find inner happiness through fitness and spirituality. And today, we're going to talk about saying yes more. Experiencing more and letting go more. Quick disclaimer, I know we're in weird times right now. This isn't necessarily going to apply. Obviously, you wanna stay within your comfort zone and your comfort area, but also understand everyone deserves the right to pick and choose how they live their life. This can be used for now during these weird, crazy sort of lockdown times or any other time. Now, I have always been a huge social butterfly ever since I was little. I never really liked being alone. I always loved feeling the energy off of other people. I loved being around people. I just truly thrived in that way. That being said, this past year between COVID and of my spiritual awakening journey, that has completely, completely changed. <laughs> I have become such a hermit. <laughs> I don't want to leave my house. I don't want to go anywhere. And there are some days where I literally just don't want to speak to another human being. It's very odd. It's, it's, it's a very drastic change in such a short amount of time. I have learned that I absolutely love my alone time and I thrive there. But as, as much as I love my alone time, there is nothing, nothing like human connection. There's nothing like being folded over, holding your stomach, laughing your ass off, surrounded by people that you love. Nothing like closing your eyes and dancing when maybe you don't even like the music, but it doesn't even matter. There's nothing like when you just take a second and you look around and you're just in such awe and such bliss of the people that you're surrounded by because you just feel so much gratitude and so much love for them. So I was extremely close with my maternal grandfather. Unfortunately, he did pass away a little over a decade ago, but there were two words he used to use religiously that always stuck with me and they still do today. And they are making memories. And I try my very best to live by that motto, to say yes to experiences, to say yes to memories, and to say yes to life. And these can range from very, very small things to very, very big things. A small thing could be playing games with my roommates at night before we go to bed. Sometimes they're talking about, oh, let's play, you know, we, we play a lot of different games at night, you know, Yahtzee, Monopoly, Deal, Rummy, whatever we feel like playing. And sometimes I have that nagging voice inside my head saying, Sarah, you really need to go to bed. You really need to get rest for your day tomorrow. And you know what? Sometimes I do listen to that voice. Sometimes I know that for my mental well being, like, I do need my alone time and I do need to recharge. But more often, I choose to say yes. I choose to have that human to human connection with people that I love and care about. People that make me happy, people that I can laugh around, people that I can let my guard down around. And guess what? <laughs> I never regret it. I'm never in the next day like, oh man, if I had just gone to bed 30 minutes earlier and didn't play those card games, I would have had such a better day today. No, it doesn't happen. And here's an example of a bigger one. Two days after Christmas this past year, uh, a good friend of mine who I've been friends with for well over a decade uh, invited me to come snowboarding with her and her brother, his girlfriend, and uh, one of their other friends. She now lives on the West Coast. I live on the East Coast. So we don't get to see each other too often. I could think of a million reasons not to go. <laughs> it was a long drive. 
It was super freaking cold out and I hate the cold. Most of the mountain wasn't even open because it was early in the season. The Airbnb we were staying at was 45 minutes from the mountain. So even more driving. The money, especially right after Christmas. The lodge being closed due to COVID. The list goes on and on. And I was gonna say no. Knowing that I could have seen her another time when she was home before she, you know, traveled back to California. Then Grandpa's voice popped into my head. Making memories. Making memories. Making memories. Like this video. <laughs> Got you on that one, but like, you know, please. <laughs> so I said yes. And yes, the drive was long. It was about a five hour, you know, round trip. But... I got to spend one-on-one -on -one time with her, which I very infrequently get to do. And even though we stayed in this crappy Airbnb, it wouldn't even get warm. We were freezing, I was cold. Ugh, it was just, there were no utensils, there was nothing to eat out of, there was no microwave. It was so far out in the boonies, we couldn't even get delivery. We went to the grocery store and got all the stuff to make and we got to the Airbnb and there was no kitchen. So we had to drive an hour round trip just to get this crappy Chinese food. And I had the best time ever. I laughed my ass off more than I have in such a long time because these were people that I, I've grown up with, that we've been in each other's lives for years and years and years that we don't all get to see each other very often. I felt so light, so happy, so full of joy and life. And it's gonna be a memory that I'll cherish forever. So, I'm here to tell you, say yes more. Live your life more. Make more memories. Because we never get that time back. And it's okay to say no and to rest sometimes and to take your solitude and enjoy your alone time. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is value your human connection. Value your time with the people that you love because you don't know when they're not going to be there anymore or you're not going to be there anymore. The person that I went snowboarding with, we lived together for four years straight. We enjoyed each other's company for four years straight. We, we went through everything together and it was so meaningful to have the 24 hours with her and I don't regret it. It was okay that the lodge was closed. It was okay that half the mountain wasn't open or that the Airbnb was freezing because we all sat around a table playing games and laughing and joking and, and just being free. So I wanna encourage you to be free and say yes. When you're invited to your friend's baby shower and you roll your eyes like, I don't wanna spend my Sunday doing that. Think about how meaningful the memory will be. You get to go to your friend's baby shower. Your friend's having a baby. It's a, a miracle. Even when you don't feel like it, even when you wanna curl up on the couch and do nothing, say yes. Say yes to adventure. Say yes to love. And say yes to your life. So if you can think of anything that you said yes to that you didn't think that you wanted to do, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really felt called to get that out there and get the story out there and tell you, just like my grandfather always told me, go make memories. You'll never get that time back. <laughs> I love you guys so, so, so much. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys next Thursday. And don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.